Samuel. Today we are going to be looking at the Q2 earnings for DraftKings, DKNG. DraftKings is one of the stocks in my portfolio. Um, to be honest, I don't know why I got DraftKings then. I think it was because I I wanted to, some of those stocks I got in those days when I just wanted to trade within a few days, you know. I actually, uh, I bought it over $40 then or so. I traded it, you know, around $65 or so. Then I bought more, then it came down. It, I mean, the price dropped down, then I, I had to have it down. I still have it in my portfolio anyway. Um, the It is trading today at around $17 or so. But it beat its earnings. It's now trading three times sales. It used to be traded around 20 times sales. Um, the NFL season is coming now. Pretty much it started in the UK. Um, a lot of other sport activities are up and uh, running back. But also, you need to know not every state in the UK and in the US allows betting. But the NFL season is still coming towards October, November. Um, DraftKings, another thing you need to know about DraftKings before you consider um, uh, investing in it or whether it is worth your investment. Uh, DraftKings have high expenses. You know, they, they are paying a lot for advertisement, endorsement, and you know, the, the cost of revenue is high. Let's have a look at the details for DraftKings. Let's have a look line by line. Let's see, um, you know, let's drill down on DraftKings finances. Also, let's have a look at the technical chart for price action. Let's have a look. DraftKings actual revenue is 466 million. The estimate, uh, um, uh, the estimate was uh, 438 million, so it, it beat the revenue. However, on the EPS, um, uh, it's 0 0.29, while the uh, analyst expectation is um, 0 0.84. But DraftKings is trading three times so, so it, 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 it looks a bit reasonable, you know, if you want to invest in it. However, as I always say, you need to do your valuation. Let's have a look at technical charts. Here is the presentation for Q2 DraftKings uh, earnings. Let's go straight down to what we really need. Um, here, Q2 and current business highlight. 466 million of revenue in Q2, primarily driven by strong customer engagement and retention. 68% year-on-year B2C revenue growth in Q2. 30% year on year 30 percent over 30 percent um also and as and as osb product features that's the new features are uh, uh, on their app mlb live market eg pitch by pitch and ufc same game parties introduce new social features on their app they have a app which you, you do all the um, all the game and the betting launch OSB and iGaming in Ontario, that's in Canada. Strong pipeline of prospective launches in states that have legalized OSB. That is, it's not in every state in the US that is allowed to uh, that uh, betting is legalized in states representing 36 percent of, of the US population for OSB, 11 percent for iGaming. Preparing to launch. In states representing 8% of the U.S. population that have legalized OSB, but not yet launched operation, continue to operationalize initiatives to drive already excellent players' lifetime values. Increased OSB, increased OSB parlay bet mix by 1,700 bips year on year in Q2. Launch ring maker football gaming experience. Let's go straight to the numbers. Roll out pre prepackaged offering designed to resonate with the US sport fan across the major sport. Develop features that allow customers to avoid individual legs without voiding the entire bet uh, slip. Optimize merchandising through the home page redesign. Plan to launch features that allow multiple same game parties to be combined into one. Okay, um, here is the number that I'm looking at. Here is my main uh, concern. 
revenue 466.185 in year in 2022 compared to 2021 297605 um sales and marketing this is what you need to see last year it was 170 here 197 sorry about that it has grew um general and administrative 6277 general and administrative here okay. Uh, sorry, product, product and technology 77 and 62 last year. General and administrative 187, 198, slightly down here, but loss from operation. You see, they're in negative. They're in negative. Adjusted for um, here is net loss. Jeff King is not making money yet, it's in negative. Here is the technical chart for DraftKings. This is a weekly chart. Um, let's start with the fundamental. Market capitalization is four point, uh, sorry, fourteen point five six billion. Shares in float is three uh, three five nine point four million. Shares outstanding is eight one zero point nine million. Um, the EPS rating is thirty. Five year PU range not applicable. Return on equity not applicable. Um, Cash flow is in negative. As I said, uh, DraftKings is not has not break even. They're, they're not making money yet. Uh, DraftKings started in 2019, so there's not a lot of um, um, past information to look at. On um, 52 weeks, I 52 weeks low. 52 weeks, I is 64. While 52 weeks low is nine dollars. So DraftKings dropped as low as nine dollar. You know, of recent, uh, I would say in the Bear market. We are still in bear market, but it's currently trading at seventeen dollars. That means um, DraftKings is trading minus seventy-two point two percent of its fifty-two weeks high. Let's have a look at um, other information here. Funds own a forty-one percent of DraftKings Bank Zero Insurance, one percent. Checklist. I, I don't expect you to pass a lot of it. Um, Benjamin Graham, two out of fifteen. Why? Warren Buffett, uh, Warren Buffett is um, one out of sixteen. Um, Peter Lynch, Peter Lynch is a uh, three out of eight. Um, on technicals, Jeff King is trading above ten weeks moving average, but below forty weeks uh, moving average. Uh, this is. Jeff King. Uh, you don't need a suit sire to tell you that Jeff King is uh, trending down until uh, of recent. Look at it. Look at it. It was uh, trending down, but the, there's a level of he, uh, support that, that became resistance here. So the, the, the stock was uh, consolidated around here for a while. Then he broke this uh, level of support, you know, on uh, the last couple of weeks, like uh, from from um, mid June to July, we have we have seen a lot of bullish move on all the stocks. So you know, and uh, Nasdaq is up around 13 to uh, 40 percent in the last one month or so. So DraftKings is trading on that, on that Nasdaq. As you can see, this is a very strong bullish candle. Let's have a look at it on a weekly chart uh, daily chart let's see if you can see more um, of the price action well it is crystal clear draft King is trending down you know this is a a daily chart and there's there's nothing different apart from that um we, we're now seeing a bullish move it is now above 15 day moving average and 50 day moving average but below 200 day moving average I have seen the technical chart for DraftKings. The chart is very similar to most of the stocks you, you, you see in the market in, in on, under Nasdaq. Please be careful investing on DraftKings. Check with your, um, do your valuation or check with your advisors. DraftKings is very volatile and the business is not making any revenue. It's not making money now. Please be careful. Make sure you do a good valuation.
Thank you for watching this channel. Thank you for subscribing. We'll continue to produce content that will support your investment journey. Peace for the game.